Yes, I do. I, I, nerves, nerves are, uh, are an interesting thing for me. I've obviously been playing for a long time and I, I still get nervous, but it's, I can't predict it anymore. I, I, I mean, I, in my life I've done, I don't know, 5,000 concerts. I can remember half a dozen where I've suddenly stood up and I've thought, for, for no reason, okay, uh, my body rhythms are out. Now what happens to me as a clarinet player, and I think most wind players would feel this, is that because so much of what we do is air, in fact all of what we do is air based, if our body rhythms go out of whack, if we start to hyperventilate, if we start all the normal things that happen to the body when one gets nervous, increased pulse rate, this can really affect the quality of the sound. So my mechanism for dealing with it is to make sure that I really, before I walk on stage, I'm totally focused, I breathe, I do a lot of breathing exercises and I just calm myself down. And normally, once I start playing, I get lost so much in what I do that, that, that it's, it's okay. Um, it, I wouldn't like not to feel it. I would not like not to feel that, that, that edge because then I would think, I don't care. There was a, there was a wonderful thing that um, a very famous American violinist said, which he said the one thing he always tried to make sure as a performer was that he never let a note go by uncared for. And that's exactly what I think we're all trying all, all the time. Yes, I do get nervous, um, but my experience as a performer has helped me to, I, I suppose, find the right frame of mind. And it really is a mental thing. It's a frame of mind. If you, if you walk on stage with a job to do, knowing what it is you're about to do, um, it, nerves, nerves are not really a problem for me anymore. I get nervous, and then I have to slap myself around again. Um, but if my preparation has been good and I can empty my head, uh, I get through performances without vomiting usually.